Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Katarina. I make all kinds of videos here pertaining to things that I'm interested in. One of those things is home design, which I'm not like professionally trained in. I just like to do. My most recent decorating venture was turning my closet into an office where I can edit and so have a space that's my own that my son can't get into and climb onto. <laughs> and for context, in our primary bedroom, we have two accordion closets. One is Tim's, one is mine. Mine is the larger one and there's a lot of space like kind of to the right and left. How this kind of came about was my desk currently that I was using for photo and video editing was a little writing desk right behind you <laughs> in my living room. And it's also where my son's play area is. So I was finding that if I left my laptop or hard drives out on my desk, he was trying to grab and reach them. It was getting harder to just like leave my work once he was awake. I was like, you know, it'd be great to just have a place that's not in like an open area. So all that aside, Here's the video of the process of turning my closet into basically my dream office as far as a closet dream office can be. I knew from the start I wanted wallpaper and I got this really cute wallpaper from Amazon. This is the wallpaper. And it turned out to be very low quality. However, I will not be linking it below. It is so darling though. I knew I wanted something dark. My desk is green. So I wanted it to like pick up the color of the desk. And I found this wallpaper and there were little plants that had the same green tone that was in the desk. So I went ahead and bought that. And I think I measured very incorrectly because I only bought one roll thinking it would be enough. And I needed three rolls total. I also have never wallpapered before and I found out very quickly I hate it I love the look of it but it is so hard and specifically this paper was so hard to match up it felt like every panel was like differently spaced like I just could not get like if one thing was lined up then later down it would fall off pattern with peel and stick once you set it on the, the wall it is so hard to get it off and put it back on without it wrinkling I have so many wrinkles in this wallpaper I have so many little gaps I found that like after I put it on and let it set that like it would look lined up when I did it and then the next day there would be like a little gap in between that wasn't there the day before and like the edges will like curl up like they don't stay down that's why I say I don't recommend this wallpaper if you're gonna do it I think get the high quality stuff this was for me a fun project so I was trying to look for cheap and fast and we all know how that can go but more than the precision of it I wanted it to have the feeling of dark and cozy and I think it did that I love it way better than when it was all white It took me a few days total to do the wallpaper because I had to reorder some. I also wanted to make sure the wallpaper kind of blended in with our bedroom while still like being a separate place. So I think it did the job. Once I had the wallpaper installed, I started looking for frames and I searched a lot of different thrift stores and I got one from a yard sale and then I got the rest from the ReStore. Each frame was about $3, so. Brought them home and cleaned them. I like sketched out how I might want them hanging and then I brought it into Photoshop and I had found prints on Etsy that were black and white sketches and I tried to find different things that inspired me. One of them being a sailboat because my dad loves to sail. He just did a year long journey 
can check it out at Crux Loop. And then I have one of dancers because I've been a dancer my whole life. One is like a cityscape of, I think, Venice. The last one is oh, a bunch of little sheep because it reminds me of my favorite psalm. Psalm 23, love having that little reminder. I picked all those from Etsy. They were all digital downloads and then I had them printed at CVS. Put them all in the frames and hung them up. So once I put everything back in there and put the desk in and the lamp and all that stuff, I was so happy with it. Like I was ready to sit down and edit. I think it's just really important to have a workspace that is inviting and inspires creativity and inspires focus and having a place that's really just mine when I don't have like my own bedroom. I don't have like my own office room where I can close the door and stuff. And that's not like what was me because I'm really blessed. We're very blessed to be in this home. Just having this space to really work and work on photography and video. I think it's gonna be really valuable. Maybe this inspires you to do something fun. There's always small spaces in a house that could be something totally different than what it is. And I'm really inspired by small spaces. So let me know if you like this kind of video, if you wanna see more. I do this kind of thing all the time, but now I just filmed it this time. If you like this video, please let me know by literally liking it. If you are interested in seeing more, Please subscribe. I plan on sticking around. I am excited to make more videos and yeah. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.